Carla, thanks. California is banning the sale of new gas leaf blowers. Governor Gavin Newsom signed a law banning the sale of new gas-powered off-road engines like leaf blowers and lawnmowers as soon as 2024. Political reporter Morgan Reiner explains why this is easier said than done. Some people already had the foresight to come and drop off their gas-powered lawn mowing machines as part of a new pilot program in Sacramento, the first of its kind. This dumpster is full of them as well. But this business owner told me that the industry as a whole is going to face some challenges with this new law. Casey Bliss owns Bliss Power Lawn Equipment. He's working with the Sacramento Municipal Utility District to offer money in exchange for old gas-powered equipment. We saw that this was coming down the road. We, we see battery as becoming more and more commonplace. But not commonplace enough. I don't know of a battery-powered rototiller. I don't know of a chainsaw larger than a 20-inch bar that's battery-powered. So I'm not quite sure how Cal Fire and some of those type of things are going to go out there and mitigate fires when they have to have battery powered products. Take the electric Makita lawnmower. Bliss says it takes two batteries and can go about 3,000 square feet before a change or recharge. Well, a commercial landscaper probably, I mean, I could be way off on my numbers, but it's probably cutting, you know, 20,000, 30,000 square feet, maybe even more a day. So obviously they would have to be running around town with 100 batteries. So family owned businesses like Chevy Coopers simply does not see how it'll work. So only so much work will be able to get done in the day before we have to go back home and call it a day early to go charge our equipment. He's not stressing though. Landscapers, in, we're almost like an unofficial union. We stick together. State officials say running a gas powered leaf blower for one hour emits the same amount of pollution as driving from LA to Denver. I think the idea is great and I think it will eventually get there. This law does not go into effect right away. It's as soon as 2024, but it's also important to remember that this is for the sale of new off-road engines. It does not affect the ones that you already have.